Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stardew Valley with me, your host, Noble. Great to have you with us here. I figured I would go ahead and try a new game. Uh, so let me know in the comments section whether you want to see more of this game or if uh, maybe another game would uh, be more fun for everybody. Now, I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to play the a long version where it's going to be uh, actually farming in every episode. And, you know, those episodes may be like an hour long if I do that. But it'd be, you know, where I basically spend every activity actively. Probably similar to what I'm going to do today in this episode. Maybe, I'm going to probably do about three episodes. Sorry, a little indigestion there. Uh, yeah, so I'll probably do three episodes of this right now, just to kind of test the waters. And let me know down in the comments section uh, how you feel about it. Maybe you prefer to see a shorter game where it's mostly combat and character interactions. With just a little bit of farming and uh, crop growing and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, let me know, because I'd rather uh, attune this game more towards what y'all want. And if you're like, hey, that's enough Stardew Valley, let's move on to something else. Well, I'll see how I feel and compare it to how y'all feel, and we'll go ahead and make a choice on that. Because last thing I want to do is be the only one who actually wants to uh, play this game, you know? But yeah, hit me up, let me know in the comments section. And if you like this game, uh, hit that uh, like. <laughs> While we're at it, why don't we hit subscribe if you haven't already for future content. So let's go ahead and get into it with a new game to Stardew Valley. Now, I will admit I was uh, playing this about 10 minutes ago, and then I realized I didn't have the uh, actual, let me turn the volume a little bit on the game, didn't have the uh, the video recording. My audio was recording just fine. I didn't have any video, so <laughs> I feel quite silly about that. And I'll admit I have played it a little bit. I didn't quite get through the first year uh, playing this game when I played it before back when it first came out I mean I, I got it when it was brand new and uh, it was a fun game uh, never married anybody I did some mining and other things built a pretty decent homestead but you know uh, as I just found out when I clicked new game last time there's a few new features that were not here last time I played it in particular this section over here you got this is your standard farm this is what you had originally is the only farm I believe you had when you first uh, played it which is a good farm, but now you got all these new versions of new homes you can play. Now, this is what I chose uh, on the episode that failed. So, I figured with this one, if I choose this one, I might stick with uh, the longer episodes just because of the fact it might be more fun to have, you know, crazy carnage and battles going on all the time. But it also probably means I'll have less activity uh, farming and doing other activities in the amount of time I have. So the hilltop has, uh, what's it, more mineral deposits for mining opportunities. This one has a better forest, so we got more trees and uh, forest goods you can collect. And the riverland, which is uh, like little islands, so you have lots of fishing opportunities. I'll tell you what, fishing was pretty fun for me when I played this game before. I'm, in real life, I'm not a fisherman. I've never really been interested in fish. But fish are good in this game for making money and also uh, for getting achievements and stuff like that. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about later. Uh, Standard Farm is just an all-around good spot. But just like last time, I think I want that challenge. I think I'm going to go with the wilderness. A little danger, you know? <laughs> now, I'm going to try and do everything I did before. So, favorite thing is... My favorite thing is people being happy. Name is Noble! And farm name. We're going to go with the same name. I had to do no space because uh, it's not wide enough. <laughs> One extra letter would have been nice, but oh well. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Bring it on down. Green pants. Yeah, a little more golden. My eyes are somewhere between like brown and gold. I forget what that's actually called. And I wanted the number 24 pale skin from last time. <laughs> because, as you can tell by the shiny reflection of all the lights on me, I'm about as pale as a ghost. 
And as I went last time with the swoop, because my hair has been, uh... I, uh, didn't put any gel in it. If you watch the Mad Max episodes, this is literally right after I recorded the first set of Mad Max after I shaved. So, <laughs> you might be like, wait a minute, things aren't adding up here. Because maybe those Mad Max episodes might not have come out yet. Uh, but... We'll stick with hair three, and what shirt do we want? Wow, I didn't realize how many there were. 109? Wow. I never went this far. I didn't know how many there were, so I'm going to quickly click until something I go, ooh, then I'll stick with it. I like a Mario shirt there for a second. What was that? That's kind of nice, but I think I'll go on. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> That's what I went with last time, so I think I'm going to go with this. I get my whistle wet real quick before we start doing voices. <laughs> I did some pretty crappy voices last time, so I'm kind of glad those didn't go in. And for my very special grandson. Where is my cursor? I want you to have this sealed envelope. Grandpa, you're crazy. It's got nothing but your hair in it. No, no, it's not hair. It's armpit hair. Now listen close. There will come a day when you'll feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And you'll become a hermit just like me. And want to destroy the system. But don't. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. And you'll be crushed by society. Mm. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. And you'll probably join a militia and shave your head. But I recommend not doing that. It is just accepting the gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. The Java Corporation! Join us in Thrive! Yeah, we got tiny folks, we got Mario looking folks, we got a terminated folk, and a crazy cowboy who's licking his lips because that's just the way he rolls! And there's me looking like a very upset man at my job. And as I said before, to the far right, you have a Titan! Because look at the size, his forearm is about the size of your torso. I figured Aaron Yeager probably put him down in between breaks. Well, I clicked all this last time, but that did no good anyway. I talked about mouse inception, about a mouse clicking a mouse. And there's that mouse. So like... If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I did lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and became a traveling minstrel. Wait, that didn't happen. And moved to the place I truly belong, way down in Kokomo. I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, because let's face it, as a grandchild you sucked, you were never my pride and joy. The Titan's Landing Farm. Excuse me. It's located in Stardew Valley. On the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. Or since it's located on the coast, you could sell it to a large developer and make a huge fortune. You know, hotels and caviar for years. This way, most of my precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name by having grandchildren of your own, because if you don't, the family name will end, because clearly I don't have any other grandchildren. My boy, good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. Please do not pee on the ferns. Th they don't like that. P.P.S. If Lewis is still alive, stab him in the shin with a large knife. He owes me for that poker game I know he cheated me on. And uh, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Make sure he remembers it's from me. As I said last time, it was reaffirmed 
just before I realized the video wasn't recording last time, which I better make sure it's still recording. Okay, it is. Herbert is a pervert. <laughs> he is quite literally almost this game's embodiment of Herbert. You know, he comes at your house at night and takes your vegetables, and he's waiting in your house all the time, waiting for you to wake up. He's been standing out there watching you through the window, you know, six, seven hours. Ah, he's finally getting up. Excellent. Ah. The rocket's launched. Hello, you must be noble. My female voice sucks, but whatever. I think I'm a little too deep. <laughs> I'm Robin. The Boy Wonder. The local carpenter. Mayor Lewis has sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there. He's, th he's there right now, tidying things up for you and installing hidden cameras in all the worst places possible. I wouldn't go to the bathroom or take a shower without wearing a pair of shorts at least. Because uh, he's a freaky man. The farm's right over there. You'll fo if you'll follow me. If not, that's the bus. You can just leave. What's this? The house is in shambles. As I mentioned last time, I don't remember there being a fence or a, a, a stairway or walkway here. I thought this went all the way across last time, so I'm not sure what's up here. But then again, I could be wrong. might have been there the whole time. This is Titan's Landing Farm. What the fuck? What's the matter? Have you never seen overgrown forest and land before? It's pretty crazy. Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath all that mess. And by mess, I mean your yard. It's a fucking mess. With a little dedication, you'll have to clean up in no time. Not like I'm gonna help you. <laughs> this is your problem now, buddy. <laughs> You could hire some gardeners, but, you know, whatever. Uh, last time I played this, I dated her daughter. But, uh, I think I might try to go after a different person this time for, uh, the relationship aspect of this game. And here we are, your new home. And by new home, I mean shithole home. It's an old cabin, and it's broken down. Ironically, well stocked with wood, though. Wood I can't use, by the way. It'd been cool if, it, you know, you see, like, just, like, one or two logs over here, and then as you cut down trees, it starts filling up. Do I want to go with Emperor Palpatine-esque, or do I want to go with Herbert the Pervert? I think Herbert's going to cause me some troubles down the road because of all the talking he does. So I think I'll go with Palpatine. Ah, yes. The new farmer has arrived. Welcome. I am Lewis, the Emperor, Mayor of Pel Pelican Town. I will soon be watching you every night, every day. Your whole life is under my observation. You know everyone's been asking about you? They should. I told them to ask about you. It's not every day someone mo new moves in. It's quite a big deal. We have exactly the right number of daughters and sons, and you're throwing that whole system completely off. The breeding is completely messed up. So, you're moving into your new grandfather's old cottage. For the first time, if forever. It's a good house. A very rustic. And by rustic, I mean it's old like me. Rustic? That's one way to put it. <laughs> I just insulted you, didn't I? Crusty might be more than apt, though. <laughs> uh, don't hate me. Rude! Don't listen to her. Noble, she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so you'll buy one of her house upgrades. Which you absolutely have to do if you want to have a family or anything going on. This house is just way too tiny for actually putting things in. Ah! Hm. Anyway, 
You must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Actually, if I had the option, I'd probably go ahead and cut the grass in this area right now so I could go ahead and start getting the garden ready for tomorrow. But this game won't let me do that. It says, you must go to sleep now. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Which I'm not going to do because I'd rather actually try to get the farm started. You have exactly a certain amount of days per month. And if you don't have your garden grown up by the end of that month, everything dies by the next month unless you got things to carry over. I learned that the hard way the first month I played. <laughs> I had like half of my crops grow up. Now, the terms clearly made it, but I think I had, uh, grew like halfway through that month. I started growing some long-term plants. Once you have to go grow in the very beginning, not at the end. And uh, they didn't make it. <laughs> they very much uh, ended up expiring and I lost all that money. Which may be even further behind in the next month. Because I didn't have that money to spend on those plants. It, like I said, it was probably a good thing that I started over because playing it now, because uh, I wasn't doing too good in that first playthrough. The townspeople would appreciate that. And so would the uh, Galactic Senate. Oh, Vader. I mean, Noble. I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in that box there. I'll come by during the night, while I'm looking through your windows, and collect it. Don't mind me and the heavy breathing outside your window. And whatever you do, do not latch the window. I don't like that. Well, good luck. You'll need it. Ah, uh, that's it for the first night. Ah! But progress has been saved. Yep. Right. WASD, click, and shift to run. You receive 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little stuff to get you started, says the mayor. Now, as every day should start in this game, go to the TV and check your general stats. Welcome to KZU5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now for the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day! Welcome to Vorex Oracle, the only show where you, uh, the voice of the spirits is channeled directly to you. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little bit of extra luck. Which I really don't need because I don't have any plants growing yet. And last but not least, living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another trip for y'all. Now listen up. This is one for all the greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Yeah, we'll leave. Ah. I remember correctly, I need to hit this. I got clay, okay. No aching on that one. Now this energy bar over here is very important because it runs out, your day's done no matter what's going on. So that's the last thing I want is... To, ah, I lost some wood. Darn it. Last thing I want is on my first day to run out of energy because I spent too much time gardening and not enough time actually planting the garden. Sorry, Froggy. That's probably enough of the grass. I'm only going to use this area right now to garden in. I'll build better later. But I got to get this stuff started soon. Now you can build like energy bar or energy uh, foodstuffs and stuff like that to refill your energy for the day, but if I remember correctly. Okay. Now we got to start tilling the land. Let's uh, rearrange this a little bit. 
That's a little bit more like I like it. I really need to build a storage box soon. I need 50 wood, only have 35. So yeah, I think I need to actually chop down a little more wood before I get started on that. Because if I don't have a storage box, I have to throw everything that I don't have room for away. And I'd rather save some of this. Crapola. There, okay, I got enough. Okay, let's put this right here. Um... That'll be good for now. Let's hoe it up. Alright. Stop wasting energy and aim where I'm pointing at. The wrong one. Okay. I don't have any sprinklers anyway, so I don't like to worry about making room for them yet. Everything will be manual. Yeah, this thing's got like a one reach, so. Yeah, see, I can't quite get that one. The great news is I just had enough energy to get through the day. So yeah, I'm down here at 80% out of 270. That's pretty close. Let's, uh, <laughs> don't want to risk that on the first day. No, don't water that. Oh, what's this? I don't remember this. Ooh. Oh, okay, that helps. It helps you identify what the box is containing. Well, I'll leave it as is right now because uh, I don't really feel like uh, let's put that back on. I don't really feel like running around and uh... nope, stop it. There we go. Leak! There's a leak in the boat. Ah! All right. So now that I have, I have still 11:30. I have almost no energy left, but at least I can go introduce myself to people. Sir, can you hold on for a moment? I'm a random stranger running out of the wood line. Do you want to talk? Hey, hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Hello, it's nice to meet you again. Hi. I might actually go after Penny. Oh, did you want something? Too bad I can't go after her. She's nice. Oh! I can read it on your face. You're going to leave it here. Oh, <laughs> leave it here. You're going to love it here, fella. Get down. You're going to leave it here. What does she know about my secret life? What am I leaving here? Is it a dog? Is it a ferret? Maybe buried treasure? If you're ever looking for something to do, evening in the uh, in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. The problem is, everyone goes to the saloon. I can't go up there yet. I forgot I can't go into people's places to talk to them until they're friends with me. Go figure. It's not like other RPGs where you can't actually go into random people's houses. Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent. My mom told me I never saw I was supposed to talk to strangers. Uh oh. I'm in trouble again. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was going to happen. Mama says not talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Kids, if you're watching this, never do what Vincent does. Vincent's an idiot. <laughs> Vincent doesn't get carried away in the van. But anyone else might have that problem. Don't risk it. 
Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined. But that's okay. I'm Judy! Yeah. Jody's husband's pretty cool. So, yeah, she's off the market, obviously. And she's a peppy lady. I like her. As <laughs> I chop her to death with an axe. <laughs> ah, Mayor Lewis told me about you. Just arrived? I'm Mary. Mar Marie. Mar Marnie? I'm going to call her Ma just because that's the first two letters. She's Ma for me. <laughs> I'm going to butcher that name so much I already know it. One thing I never figured out is why does Fabio live on the beach? Freaking Fabio lives in a shack. This is Fabio's shack. <laughs> There's Fabio. Hi, this is Fabio. Possible romance if you wanted it. Look at that. Elliot, a.k.a. Fabio. It's like, I live on the beach. Ah, a new farmer. We've all been expecting... And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation? I'm Elliot. I live on a little cabin on the beach. Right there, as a matter of fact. A pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Gaston! Yep, no more stuff to salvage. I'm collecting things to sell, by the way, just in case you were wondering what I was doing. I'm already at 140, so yeah, like I said, the time keeps flying in this game, so gotta kind of keep up with it. Is this open yet? No, nope, not back. He gives you a fishing pole and teaches you how to fish and stuff like that. I was curious if I go ahead and get my fishing pole now. I really, the first thing you need to get is a backpack, because this is all your storage space. And like Minecraft, your storage fills up pretty quick. I got some copper ore, yeah. The blacksmith's up here. <laughs> it's Gunther. Hello there, and welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Oh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have uh, any artifacts for the display. In other words, we're not much for an archaeological society as we are a place that got robbed society. But I'm hoping to remedy that soon. Here, or hey, if you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you believe, let me know? I'd be much obliged. But yeah, this game's got a lot of collect collectibles. First off, you put a lot of books in here. And then all this and all of this is places you can put things you collect. So yeah, this game's got a lot of collectibles. Uh, but yes. In due time, in due time. Bunny rabbit! Yes. Is a miner in? There he is. What can you give me for this one copper? Five copper bars. You need a lot of copper to be made into copper bars, and then you need to turn those copper bars into copper tools. Plus the money to go with it, so. It's going to be a little while before I get any of this. And I really got to stop hitting the weapon, because the more I smack that axe around, it's already down to 52%. 75... Yeah, might as well get five out of it. Iron ore, coal, gold. Now watch, here it is. It'll be like episode two or three. I'll be like, man, I wish I had one more copper. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I did have one more copper. I'm just going to put it on this so I don't keep using my weapon. I say weapon. I keep using my axe or whatever on accident. Accident. The Joja Mart, your local non-Walmart associated facility. The Joja Wallpaper, Georgia, Georgia, I'm from Georgia, the Joja Cola, and a shit ton of other things. But we don't care about that now, do we? Hey kid, the name's Pam. Eh, 
Hey, you don't want to talk, huh? Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. And then this a-hole. He needs a snively whiplash voice. Fuel your life with Joja Cola. Because if you're, it's not Joja, it's not Georgia. As a matter of fact, I don't think the uh, the old miner or whatever is up there yet. And I need to go ahead and hit the store before it closes. Otherwise, I won't have access to get my uh, bag. But then again, I might not have the money to get the bag yet either. These are birthdays. These are the days best to give people gifts because it makes them really happy. The mayor's birthday is at the end of the week, so that's like our first objective. Now, obviously, we won't make that in the first episode, but, uh, you know, it's... If you don't know what they like, I'd recommend looking up online because sometimes you give something to somebody and they'll be like, hmm, I don't want that. And then other times we're like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. So, you know, if, unless you know what you're doing, don't give a special item... A bad item on a, a special day. Or a special item on a no day. Especially if it's a rare item. Things I know that a lot of people like. Mayonnaise. Or is it butter? One of them is like almost everybody's number one thing. Or at least up there in the higher levels of, hey, thank you. And you give it to them every single day. So if you got yourself a cow and you're making mayonnaise or butter or whatever. You can sit there and every day just hand out a jar of it to every single citizen. And they're like sitting there making mayonnaise sandwiches like. <laughs> Man, he just shoots everywhere. <laughs> um, oh, he's done with the store, darn it. Hey, it's Mr. Noble, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner. Maybe with Pierre I should do a French accent. I am Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. Uh huh. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. Or I can just leave it for the mayor to actually hand out. So, you know, let him distribute it or I do it myself. Either way, it does the same thing. Yeah, I don't definitely don't have enough money for that. But I need those 24 slots. I only got 12 right now. And Pierre's uh, back house actually has like a uh, some form of religious uh, structure. Not sure what it is, but... Grandpa had that same symbol in his room, so it's some form of religion in this world. Hello. You must be Noble, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. All I think about is that uh, movie Caroline. And she's the, uh, the mama of uh, the goth girl here. She's the one I was after last time trying to marry. This guy's actually a romance partner also. Ah, oh, come on, I just missed him. Don, you doctor! Hard enough trying to get to you at the same time. Ah, I see both of you are here. She's also one I was interested in going after. But yeah, I think I might go after Penny this time. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I think I probably got every voice that's the same female voice, but I can't do a female voice that's any good. Hi, Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Because this Penny makes me think of Penny from uh, Ruby. Can I not click you, lady? Fine, I'll leave you alone. Get a restraining order, why don't you? Ah, the mayor's house. Ah, how was your first night in the old cottage? Not like I don't know already. You're not escaping me, young lady. We have much to talk about. No, you're not going to just ignore me, okay. It's probably because they don't want you talking to the same people over and over again. Gaston! Well, Gus. Well, hello there. <laughs> ah, the seller of fine wares and uh, 
Uh, curios and odds and ends. <laughs> I am Gus, chief and owner of the uh, Star Drop Saloon. I ride a large one, uh, giant tired bicycle. And I do, uh, manliest squats and thrusts you can imagine. Hey, kid. If I'd buy you a drink, but if I could, afford it. I'm down to eight packs a day. Shane's hard at work and doesn't seem interested in talking. He's not hard at work, he's drinking. I guess he's hard at work and drinking. Eh. Anybody hanging out? No. If you time it right, you get pretty much to see everybody. As they go to hang out. Oh, she's already in bed. Whoa! Hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Yeah, I'm George! It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off! <laughs> Scrabulous! Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. I, you're not my grandmother! She had wrinkles. And you just have a gaping hole where teeth used to be. I I, I dropped that one. I, I tried to make it funny and it, it failed. We all know I failed. Don't look at me like that! Tully ho! Anybody else showed up? You did, but I think I talked to you already. Yeah, I did. I think I can actually see who I'm missing on my objectives. Okay, these are the people I've missed. I haven't talked to the wizard yet. He hasn't showed up. He's the fisherman. The little girl. Ah, I need to talk to him. He's in the woods. That Robin, her husband, her son, uh, that's the doctor, that's the girl who I was trying to date, and the sister of the girl who's working, that's, that, this is this girl's sister. So I know who I'm missing now. I can at least get the, uh, the guy living on his own in the woods. Hmm. Grab anything you can to settle. Not to mention some of the stuff can be used for medicines or foods or whatever. I can't remember. <laughs> I'm probably going to end this episode soon, but... Eh... That's blocked off. And this is the homeless guy's house. Well, he's not homeless. He happens to have a home. It just happens to be lodged here. A stranger, hello! This is a great gift. Thank you. I already know that giving him plants is a good way to make him happy. Don't mind me. I'm just living out here. Yeah, I literally just picked a plant out of his woods and handed it straight to him. And it makes him happy, so why not? Hey, buddy. Once I get over here, I can start adventuring, going on, do fights and mining and stuff like that. I gotta be back before, I think, 12 o'clock, so... Maybe it's 1 o'clock. I think 12 o'clock, the timer starts. 1 o'clock is when uh, you fall asleep and lose items and stuff like that. It sucks. And yes, it has happened before. You get stuck in a dungeon trying to get out, and next thing you know it, it's game over. <laughs> well, not game over, but you lose a lot of stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I forgot I haven't cleared my way out of here. Wait, maybe I can get away with clearing some of this out. Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, that's going to suck if I'm uh, trapped. 
Okay. First off, let's go to this box. And, uh... Let's put the fiber up. I'll need fiber. I'll sell the shells. Keep the leak for now. I'll sell these two things off. Just to make some money tonight. Alright. Gotta try to make my way to that backpack, you know? And I guess this is the point where I'm gonna end the episode. So thank you everybody for coming and joining for me on the first episode of uh, Stardew Valley. I almost forgot what it was called. <laughs> what a great start, right? But anyway, thank you for joining. And once again, if you liked it, hit that like and subscribe for future content. And please leave a comment in the uh, comment section to let me know what your opinion is on how I should be doing this game. Long game, short game, do you want me to uh, be more adventurous or, you know, maybe some romance choices of your opinion? Don't know. It's whatever you want. And I'll uh, give it a shot. So, appreciate it. I'll see you all next time. Take care, everybody.